What's up everyone? I'm Justin from justin-ravelli.com and since Elena and I are going to be training together for the time being, I decided I'm going to post our sessions, the programs we're following, the parameters and differences between them, and why we're doing it. To start, as you can see, Elena is going to be performing the trap bar deadlift and I'm going to be performing the conventional deadlift. We're both going to work up to one set of five reps. Nice sets. On these warm up sets, we focus on keeping technique the same as we would during heavier sets. And real quick, before we get to our working set, when you step inside rather than behind the bar like Elena is, you reduce the amount of sheer force on the spine. This option is also easier for those of you who have mobility restrictions or that aren't able to maintain a good position in the conventional deadlift. In this working set of Elena's, she does a really nice job with this heavy of weight, but if you ask her yourself, she'll tell you that it's really hard and she really has to focus on not letting her knees collapse inward and stay inward. Well, overall, this was a pretty good set for 205 pounds. The thing I have the most trouble with is getting the bar off of the floor. So once it gets past my knees, I can pretty much lock out anything. In my next program, you'll probably see me doing things like pause deadlifts or a different deadlift variation to help with this weakness. Next, we're moving on to paused front squats for three sets of eight reps. What I'm going to do is show you one warm up set of ours each and then our last working set. Like I just mentioned with the deadlift, you can use pauses in your training to strengthen the weak part of a movement. In this case, we're taking out the stretch reflex or bounce you normally get at the bottom of the squat, which is going to in turn force our muscles to do all of the work over the full range of motion. Right here is the last working set of Elena's where she'll do eight reps, and then you'll see my last working set of eight reps. Pausing at the bottom of this lift can also help with technique and mobility. So staying put with the elbows and chest high, lower back tight, or in other words keeping upright posture at the bottom of the front squat is a pretty demanding part of this lift. And to finish off today's session, we're moving on to a one arm supported single leg deadlift with dumbbells. And with this, we're doing three sets of 10 reps. The first time I did these, my hips and hamstrings were smoked for about five days. These are a lot harder than they look. I really like this exercise to train the glutes and hamstrings while sparing the spine. A couple things that we're doing is making sure that we hinge or stick our butts back as far as we can keeping tension on the hamstrings the same as we would with a bilateral movement like the Romanian deadlift. 
we're also limiting the amount of twisting through our bodies, back, leg, and foot. And we're using the machine next to us only to keep us stable. We're not yanking on it to help us stand up. Our glutes and hamstrings are doing that. And again, I tried walking up with the camera so you can see your hand just lightly touching the machine. If you wanna see how our entire program is laid out and how we're gonna progress each week, check back or subscribe. I hope this was useful and thanks for watching.